What did the weird kid do to earn that reputation? The weird kid at my school always claimed she was a wizard, and when someone spoke to her, when she was casting a spell, screaming at the ground, she would turn around and either scream in their face or bitch slap them. I was new to the school at the time, and I got screamed at cause I was legitimately worried that she might be hurt or something. Power word catch these hands apostrophe second level evocation 1 action 5 feet of instantaneous channeling the words of power through your body and into the world. You empower yourself with the magic of the world at creation. Make a melee spell attack against a creature within range. They must make a wisdom saving throws against your spell DC. On a failure, they are stunned. They may repeat this saving throws at the beginning of each of their turns. Once they succeed their saving throw, they must use all of their movement on the next turn moving away from you. The targeted creature will avoid you as much as possible and will not stop avoiding you for anything less than a wish spell. He brought a live lobster to a middle school dance and let it go on the dance floor during the dance. Wasn't even a question of who would have done this? It was Nate. Nate did it. Why are so many of these weird kid stories about a Nate? Maybe it's the same Nate that became so infamous he was burned into dozens of people's memories simultaneously. Well, better Nate than Lever. Do a countdown to his farts like they were a fucking moon launch. Of all the things I thought I would find in this thread, inspiration wasn't one of them. I laughed out loud at this. He thought he was a robot. Often you'd find him in the halls alone talking to electronics about destroying the human race or having a conversation with a locker. Ah, uh, could this be Mark Zuck's origin story? Mark's a lizard though. Finger themselves during class then brought a cake the next day to apologize. What kind of cake? Cream pie. Damn you. You mean thank you. Well, fucked a goat lad. Too bad he didn't go to a Welsh school. He would have been a normal kid. My parents couldn't afford that. Wait what? Pulled out his pubis or armpit hair one by one and ate them. Pulled out his pubis or armpit hair one by one me. Yeah that would do it. And ate them me. I regret reading this. And it's now seared into my brain. Set his arm on fire on a school trip to France. Sprayed his arm with deodorant for about a whole minute before getting someone to light it. It wouldn't go out until he used the tap in the bathroom to douse it with water. He ended up with blisters and permanent scarring. So the school trip ends and we go back to school the week after. All of a sudden me and four other kids get pulled into a classroom to be questioned by police and the head teacher. He basically told his mum that we did it to him. Obviously this did not stick, as we all had the same story. If I had Facebook I would look him up. See how life is for him nowadays. Edit. Forgot to say deodorant is what he used. Fuck people like that. A classmate in elementary broke his arm doing dumb shit and tried to frame us for it because he was embarrassed. He pulled some shit like that later in school life too. And you just know he's been pulling shit like that at every place he's ever worked at. What a tosser collected earthworms when it rained in the pouch of his hoodie and then laid them out in the schoolyard spelling his own name he cried when he saw that it had been scraped from the pavement the next day by that time he was around 13 predictably people we started calling him worm kid he got expelled around a year later for throwing a fistful of earth at a teacher edit to elaborate on him having to leave the school this act of dirt tossing happened inside of a classroom at close proximity when he'd been called to the blackboard during a latin lesson i'm from europe the teacher completely lost her shit the moist soil was all in her hair and she later said a couple of live beetles and little pebbles or bone splinters were also found in that mix though i can't say whether that's true he got expelled around a year later for throwing a fistful of earth at a teacher. Earthbender. Cut himself in class. Waited for the blood to congeal a bit then ate it. Just writing that made me gag. Years later he got arrested for stabbing someone. Not gonna lie. I've done this, but I didn't wait for it to congeal. And I didn't do it in front of anybody. I think it's quite a primal instinct to lick cuts. Cleaning the blood off in a primal way maybe, this dude would go so far as to play with the congealed blood, squishing it with his fingers like it was a small bit of slime or something. Super weird vibes from him. 
He also had a habit of stalking girls, me for 6 months, and would write them poems which got pretty graphic. Now, were the poems any good, or were they shite? So, so bad. Equal parts cringy. Unsettling and flat out creepy. One line I remember, is this is my love. This is my love. For you. You don't see me. But I see you sometimes they'd describe outfits you'd worn. But we had a uniform at school, so he'd have to have stalked you to know kinda thing. <laughs> Raised his hand, and when the teacher called on him to answer his question, he started singing Freya Jax. This made me laugh way too much. Glad it wasn't just me. <laughs> In kindergarten we had this girl who used to show us that she could put sticks inside her peeing place. As kids, we were fascinated, grossed out and amazed at the same time. Yet, we never really thought more of it. It was her thing. She liked to show us that she could put objects inside that spot. Only years on years later, in context, we were around for when this happened. I'm 36 today, and I think I only realized one to two years ago that this girl was most likely subject to sexual abusive. I knew she came from a somewhat troubled home. But as a 4 year old and the years after, I didn't possess the skills at or know how to identify this. As a teenager and the years onwards, I forgot about her, only to think of her a few years back as someone said something which triggered the scenario. Wherever you are, girl, now woman, I hope you're good and living your best life. Holy shit. That's crazy. Did any teachers or the principal ever find out and do something about it? They caught us on occasion. But as other people stated, this was before teachers were taught to recognize red flags. It only occurred to me a few years ago that the lines in Forrest Gump about Mr. Curran was a very loving man. Always kissing and touching Jenny and her sisters meant he was molesting them like crazy. Equals slash. Ate a live lizard while the entire school was hanging out on the football field during a fire drill. Dude would wear a stormtrooper costume and taped an old flip up phone to his arm and pretend to talk through it. This was in Shea was particularly odd because he was like a born genius so head often get bored in class and get up to some weird shit. Now this is a lad I'd like to hear some more stories about. TBH looking back on it, I really feel bad for the guy. Was incredibly smart, but had zero social skills and an unfortunate lump of fat right on his forehead that people would bully him for. It was also like he tried to get in trouble every chance he could. Anyways, some things that came to mind he would pick at and pop pimples in class. Like pimples on his arms and shoulders head just go to town on M and be all red and marked up by the end when I was in school we had a serious no electronics policy. A few times he would bring in his Nintendo DS and play that thing full volume. And of course softed attention because he was so smart. He would often correct teachers and other students but in the rudest way possible. And he was always technically correct, if that makes any sense. Also often resulting in detention can't think of any more specifically fun stories. He rarely showed up to school. Maybe because he felt he didn't need to, or maybe because everyone, including the teachers, weren't always the nicest to the kid. <laughs> got caught whacking it in the school bathroom, then later got his dick stuck in a shampoo bottle. Guys. If you get your dick stuck in a shampoo bottle, and your mom has to take you to the hospital to remedy the situation, you need to keep that to yourselves. There is no teenager in the world who's going to keep that knowledge to themselves. The legend himself. He would put on sunglasses and stare at girls' chests. It was obvious. Peep and creep. I would postulate better than my weird kid. Had a huge crush on the algebra teacher. Normal enough. Masturbating during a quiz? Not so much. How? How? Did he even? He got caught. Right? I knew somebody who actually did that in our English class in high school. Girl behind them saw him wearing a hoodie, and he was rather violently moving his arm. Dressed as a pirate every day for 8 years. Legit said he was leaving rural me to move to the Caribbean, and become a pirate. Changed his name to Black Badran. Sounds like an absolute lad. TBH he had a pretty badass trench coat. Yeah yeah best not be comparing me frock to your Sally trench coat. Far be bigger differences than yeah be noun. Frock coats be steeped in naval history. They define you and vessel alike. 
from golden thread to sterling button you'd not be where no frock in the muddy pits of your land loved to tatters. He drew a Cayman porn during class. For a few years. Ah yes. His future career. He had a notoriety for shitting his pants at least once a day and was super casual about it. I remember I was behind him in the hall one day when I saw a massive turd plop out of his short legs. He looked back at it and just kept on strutting. He was at a high level of not giving a fuck damn you usually don't get to that point until you're old. Maybe he's not giving a fuck because he's too busy giving a shit. A girl in my year at school told us that she has a ghost in her bedroom and it told her that if she didn't brush her teeth it would burn her house down. Another girl said she wanted to have sex with our headmaster but she was like 7 at the time and she used to scratch people in the face like a cat. I held the door open for her once and she flipped me off and called me a fucking bitch. I want pills. Me too buddy. Well. More pills. All the pills. There is this kid who only listens to megalovania. Worst part is that he blasts it full volume and doesn't bother wearing headphones. So imagine you're in my shoes. Taking a piss in the bathroom and 50% of the time you slowly hear megalovania getting louder and louder until it echoes into the room and there is that kid just standing there with his phone out staring at everyone while you fear for your safety. So